Let's have a little church. Yeah, come on, let's have a little church. Look over and say, Well, let the blood on this singing and king. Come on, let's have a little church.
You've been better to us than we have been to our own self. And we pause just to say thank you. I ask now in the name of Jesus, dear God, that you would hide me behind the cross, that more of you will be seen and less of me. I ask in the name of Jesus that you would let me minimize and let you maximize. Let me decrease and you increase. And speak to me and through me. Father God, not my will, but let thine holy be done. And when you are the call, we'll answer. Have all of us to be ready when you come for us. Not my will, but let thine holy will be done. All these best requests we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Suddenly giving thanks to God for our being here. Thanks to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And thanks to the precious Holy Ghost, our comforter and our guide. It's a blessing to be here today. Our scripture reading will be coming from Isaiah, the 40th chapter, beginning with the 28th verse. That's Isaiah, the 40th chapter, beginning with the 28th verse. And I will be reading from the King James Version. Hast thou not known, hast thou not heard that the everlasting God, the Lord, the creator of the ends of the earth, fainteth not, neither is weary. There is no searching of his understanding. He gives his power to the faint, and to them that have no might, he increases strength. Even the youth shall faint and be weary, and the young men shall early fall. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. God's word for the saints of God. And God's word is already blessed. Just for a few moments, we would like to talk from the subject, the rewards of waiting or for waiting on the Lord. The rewards for waiting on the Lord. Waiting is a problem for most of us. No one likes to wait. The world has a problem waiting. But as for the Christian, that is a different thing altogether. In the very fast-paced world, they're set up for maximum speed and efficiency. Fast food restaurants, online purchases, news flashes as it happened. Computers are now making communication faster and direct more than ever. We get much more done in a day's time than we ever could in the past due for new technological gadgets and devices we now have at our disposal. And it's hard for us to learn how to wait. Waiting uh, is the key word in this particular verse 31. We have learned how to wait for the car in front of us uh, when the light changed on green to move. We've learned how to wait uh, for people to stop talking at the movies. We've learned how to wait uh, in the doctor's office. We've learned how to wait on the mail to run. We have learned how to wait 
for hand sanitizers and alcohol and only to find out while we're waiting that all of it is gone. Uh, but if we learn how to wait on the Lord, his love never runs out. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. When we wait on the Lord, we realize that his mercy never runs out. Uh -huh. His mercy is renewed every day. We've got to learn that there are some rewards for waiting on the Lord. Now, first of all, number one is real, sincere people wait on the Lord. Uh, now, now, now. Uh, the real, sincere one. Uh, they, 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 they don't wait on Buddha. They don't wait on Confucius. And they don't wait on Baal. But they wait on the Lord. The one who is the everlasting God. Uh, the Lord, the creator of the ends of the earth. Uh, the one that faint is not, need is weary. And there is no section of his understanding. Those, that's the one that we wait on. The creator is the one who made everything out of nothing. The God who has the power to create worlds just with his word. Ah, the God we say that is our Father. He does not faint. In other words, God never become fatigued. Ah, he does not grow weary. He never grows tired from his labors. All right. He, he possesses all knowledge. Uh, uh, I believe some, you know, no weary because Psalm 121 verses 3 through 5 said, He will not suffer thy foot to be moved. He that keepeth thee will not slumber. Behold, he that keepeth Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord heals thy keep. The Lord heals thy shade upon thy right hand. The sun shall not smite thee by day, nor the moon by night. This God that I'm referring to, he possesses all knowledge. Uh, what he knows is limited on by his own limitations, which are limitless. His knowledge is beyond our comprehension. So real and sincere people wait on the Lord. But then while we are waiting, uh, number two is uh, there will need to be a response to our waiting. In other words, we don't need to just sit around and have a pity party while we're waiting. We don't need to just sit around and put our hands and our, our chin in our head and sit there. Uh-uh. No, 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 no. We need to have a response while we wait. Number one, our first response is while we wait on the Lord means to put our trust in the Lord. Proverbs 3, verses 5 and 6 says, Trust in the Lord with all thine heart, and lean not unto thine own understanding. And all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy path. Psalm 37, 3 to 5 says, Trust in the Lord, and do good. So shall I dwell, dwell in the land, and verily thou shalt be faithful. Delight thyself also in the Lord, and he shall give thee the desires of thine heart. Commit thy way unto the Lord. Trust also in him, and he shall bring it to pay. Not only do we need to trust in the Lord, but we need to have faith in the Lord. Ah, uh, the Bible says, if we have faith, uh, that whatsoever thou shalt say to this mountain, if you have faith in God, Verily I say unto you that whosoever shall say unto this mountain, be thy moved, and it shall be cast into the sea, and shall not doubt in the heart, but shall believe uh, that those things which he said shall come to pass. He shall have whatsoever he said. Uh, not only do we need to trust in the Lord, we need to have faith in the Lord, and then we need to call upon the Lord. Ah, ah, 
The Bible says, Jeremiah 33 and 3, call upon me. The Lord says, call upon me, and I will answer thee, and show thee great and mighty things, which thou knowest not. We also, while we're waiting on the Lord, we need to serve the Lord with gladness. Psalm 100, verse 1 and 2 says, make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with sin. Not only do we need to serve the Lord with gladness, but while we're waiting on him, we need to be patient uh, with the Lord. Uh, uh, not only do we need to be patient, we need to be obedient to the Lord. James 1 and 22 says, Be ye doers of the word, and not heals only. We also need to trust in the Lord for our soul salvation. Ah, that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus and shall believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead. The Bible says, thou shalt be saved. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. Ah, uh, we also need, while we're waiting on the Lord, to have hope in the Lord. Ah, uh, Jeremiah 17 and 7 says, Blessed is the man that trusts in the Lord and whose hope he is in the Lord. Uh, not only do we need to respond, uh, but there is a result in responding. Uh, we will find that results come. Yes, sir. Uh, 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 a real uh, uh, sincere one uh, will wait on the Lord. They will respond to the Lord while they wait. But then they realize that a result is going to come for waiting on the Lord. Uh, and uh, the word wait uh, uh, does not suggest that we sit around and do nothing. But it means to have some hope. To look to God for all that we need. That tells us that while we're waiting, God is working in our behalf. And uh, as long uh, as God is working our behalf, we have assurance that God is going to work out things for our good. The Bible tells me in Romans 8 and 28, for we know that all things work together for good <laughs> for those uh, who have, uh, for those who love God uh, and them uh, who are called according to his purpose. Uh, ain't God all right? Uh, in other words, uh, God will uh, supply uh, all of our needs. Uh, all we got to do uh, is just wait on him. Uh, the Bible tells me uh, in verse 31, uh, they, praise the Lord, that wait upon the Lord uh, shall. Uh, I want to pause right now uh, at the word shall. Uh, Jesus used uh, the word shall uh, in the Sermon on the Mount. Uh, Jesus said, great Lord, blessed are they uh, that moan, uh, for they shall uh, uh, be comforted. Uh, Jesus said, uh, blessed are the meek, uh, for they shall uh, inherit the earth. Uh, Jesus said, uh, blessed are they uh, which are hunger uh, and thirst after righteousness. Uh, for they shall be filled. Uh, Jesus said, uh, Blessed are the merciful, uh, for they shall uh, obtain mercy. Uh, Jesus said, uh, Blessed are the, uh, the pure in heart, uh, for they shall uh, uh, shall see God. Uh, ain't God all right? Uh, Jesus said, uh, Blessed are the, uh, the peacemaker. Uh, for they shall uh, 
be called uh, the truth of men. The Bible said uh, they uh, that wait upon the Lord uh, shall, uh, shall uh, mount uh, with wings uh, uh, as the eagle. Uh, ain't God alright? Uh, I want to throw in uh, uh, an eagle uh, is a fine uh, a specimen of a bird. Uh, ain't God alright? Uh, because an eagle is able to fly into a storm. He finds safety in his ability to ride above the storm. Ain't God alright? I wonder is there anybody here ever lean on the Lord and while you were leaning you stretch your hand out before God in a midnight hour and gave him all your problems you gave him all your limitations gave him all your troubles and that same God lifted you above your problem above your tribulation ain't God alright that's why uh, the songwriter says, uh, uh, Father, uh, I stretch my hands to thee. Uh, uh, there is no other uh, uh, help I know. Uh, if thou wilt draw uh, thyself from me, uh, uh, Master, where uh, uh, shall I go? Uh, uh, Everybody close here. Uh, I'm beginning to look down uh, uh, to remember the lane in the scripture. Uh, but there were some saints uh, that waited on the Lord. Uh, my Bible, great boy, uh, tell me that uh, old man Noah, uh, God told him one day uh, to build him a heart. Uh, ain't God all right? Uh, they tell me that uh, no priest a hundred uh, and twenty years of old rain. Uh, when God got through, uh, God waited uh, for the rain. Uh, they tell me uh, the Bible said uh, it rained for the days. Uh, I had fallen night, uh, but no one waited uh, for the flood to go down. Uh, ain't God all right? Uh, my Bible tell me uh, a chose waited uh, in part of his house. Uh, I had in prison uh, to be raised uh, for the bit to the palace. Uh, ain't God all right? Uh, Jesus uh, waiting uh, for his freedom uh, to be fulfilled. Uh, Joseph waited, uh, Joseph waited, uh, he lost everything he had, uh, but his wife, uh, his friends accused him uh, of doing the wrong, uh, but Joseph waited uh, on the Lord, uh, on uh, my point in time, uh, I wait uh, until a change come, uh, sin, uh, waited uh, for the Messiah, uh, Moses, uh, waited. Uh, uh, we had the red sea, uh, ain't God all right? Uh, God told Moses uh, to stand still uh, and see uh, the salvation uh, of the Lord. Uh, ain't God all right? Uh, I want to leave you here, uh, Shadrach. Uh, a me shang uh, and a big nigga uh, waiting uh, in the fiery furnace uh, that will turn them a uh, uh, seven times hotter. Uh, ain't God all right? Uh, but God uh, did not uh, put the fire out. Uh, he conditioned him uh, to endure uh, the fire uh, and no smoke uh, was even on the head. Uh, my Bible uh, uh, tell me that uh, a thing that wait uh, upon the Lord uh, uh, shall uh, renew their strength uh, they shall mount up uh, with wings as eagles uh, they shall run uh, and not be weary uh, they shall walk uh, and not faint uh, ain't God alright uh, my last question is uh, why uh, should I will the Lord uh, because Jesus uh, is my bread when I'm hungry uh, Jesus 
Jesus, if I come to get you all alone, Jesus, if my peace will fill the tears, Jesus, if my rest in the will, Jesus, if joy will fill the sad, Jesus, if my strength will fill the weak, ain't God alright? Jesus Christ, if He's my all in all, I need to wait on Him. He's the lid of the valley, right at morning star. He's King of King, the Lord of Love, and some glad morning when this life is over, I'm gonna find a way somewhere to be at rest. Ain't God alright? I know you're alright, yeah. But the Lord promised He'd help us. Don't make no 